Hello Internet, I am the Hero of Julios once again with another One Piece card pack opening video. Uh, set 6 is here. We have the Wings of the Captain box. And, uh, well, I'm going to level with you. Normally I, I try to do, you know, two videos and then I open up a third box for YouTube shorts and all that. Uh, I think currently I am on set 3 with those videos. Uh, maybe set 4. Uh, regardless, um, <laughs> it... Looks like I'm not going to be able to do that for this uh, set. I have gotten my hands on one box for the channel. So maybe I'll get a, my hands on another box. But Bandai, if uh, any of you, any of your representatives are watching, you guys got to do something about this uh, set release. Because man, it was hard to get the packs we got. I mean, I, I'm going to a couple pre-releases that I squeezed into. But other than that, a, a solid box is just this one. So... Enough of complaining, let's get into the actual meat and potatoes of Wings of the Captain. As with all my unboxing videos, we are going to start with the bottom of the box because I have a superstition that the bottom of the box always has something worth pulling. So we are going to start with Gyoro, followed by Count Battler, Rizo, Jigoro of the Wind. Thriller Bark, Lola, Borsalino, The Billion Fold World, uh, Tri Shiloism, a uh, Shilo Trilocosm, I think I got that right. The Leader Card, Hody Jones, and for our rares, we get Kami, Dr. Hogback, and what did I say? Very first pack, bottom of the box, we are opening the Dawn card. This is the scene where, uh, Zoro and Sanji saved, uh, Little Toko uh, from a terrible fate. They are the wings of the captain standing side by side in epic da dawn moment. So that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I like that scene. Uh, probably not my favorite dawn card out of all the six we've gotten in the packs, but it's a good moment. Let's see if the other box bottom can really bounce us out. We got another Count Butler. We got Reju. Rizo, Schneider. I actually really like that that 3D like Straw Hat Chase film was actually like represented in the card game. Uh, Kingdom of Germa there. We got Cosette, Genbo, followed by Nothing at All. And so, you know, nothing happened. White Snake, Saga, and for our rares, Monkey D. Luffy and Tashi. So as of the recording of this video, uh, Sakazuki, the actual leader, is getting banned in Japan. Not here in the States, though. So if you are a Sakazuki player, eh, there's still a chance to power up your deck with cards like Tashigi. Another Count Butler. We st uh, bat Battler. We are starting with a lot of those. Terra Lan. Then we have Inazuma. Jaguar D. Saul. Cosette again. We have the Ark Noah, followed by the Ark Maxim. Then we have Borsalino, Inu Arashi. Oh, we got Kumasi. Oh, that's, yeah, because Thriller Bark. We got Perona in this set. And for our rares, we have Kami and Reju. So, Vinsmoke Reju. Not to be confused with the other Vinsmoke Reju that I pulled earlier. Uh, this is a four cost to play, 5,000 power, 1,000 counter. Her on play, if the number of Dawn cards on your field is equal to or less than the number on your opponent's field, and you have five or less cards in your hand, draw two cards. Yes, this is great in the Germa deck, because you Dawn minus to play out Reju, so you're effectively drawing three cards thanks to the leader Reju. However, I will argue that this is a very strong card for the uh, Trafalgar Law deck from set five. Well, set five was the set that went along with him. The Trafalgar Law I'm talking about is from Starter Deck 10. So it's a very strong card, good for card draw, something purple kind of needed. Yellow kind of needed something like Isa, because she's got, you know, 2,000 counter. Then we have another Gyro, Vinsmoke Niji, Lily Carnation. This is the creepiest of all the uh, One Piece movies. Arc Maxim, Lola, Genbo, but I will never doubt a woman's tears. Sakazuki in his younger days burning down an island. Then we got Saga, 
And for our rares, Kikunojo and Gravity Blade Raging Tiger, which I keep pulling in all my pre-releases. It is actually kind of useful in my opinion. I think for 7 Dawn to get rid of 12 Dawn worth of characters on board, yeah, it might set you back a little turn, but you can get rid of some of your opponent's very powerful mid-game uh, brutes with that. Okay, let's see what's next. Tokikake. That's hard to say. And then we got Cerberus, followed by Kamakiri, Dosun, Genbo, Zeph, Rocky, Ikaros Much, Guild Tesoro, Emporio Ivankov, and for our rares, Negative Hollow, and Kozuki Hiori. It is this is like this is a very shiny card. Look at look at how that look at how my light reflects on her hair. This is a very, very reflective card. Uh, two cost to play, zero power, 2,000 counter. But what's really cool about her is you may add one card from the top or bottom of your life to your hand. Then you add one card from your hand to the top or bottom of your life. This is effectively the Charlotte Linlin uh, starter deck leader card ability. But uh, just for a two cost. And if you don't feel like using the ability, it's still a 2k counter in hand. So... It's pretty strong no matter how and when you use it. In our next pack, we have Sengoku, Watatsumi, Tenguyama Hitetsu, nothing at all, Vinsmoke Yonji, Baron Omatsuri, Thriller Bark, Hachan, Germa Double Six, Vinsmoke Reiju, the leader card. Oh, bump my camera. And for our rares, we get Zephyr, and you're the one who should disappear. It's a it's a decent card. I'm glad yellow finally has its zero cost, 3,000 counter. So every color has their own version of it. The trigger on that one's pretty nuts, if I may say. Because uh, just being able to gain back a life when you're at zero is kind of nice. It's, it's exactly the same as Anel's ability, which could be devastating if Anel successfully pulls it off. Then we have Brahm, Gaspard, Monkey D. Garp, Kyoshiro, Zio, Meteor Strike of Love, Jigoro of the Wind, Ray's Max, White Snake, Perona, the leader card, Gum Gum King Kong, oh, this is our first rare, <laughs> Gum Gum King Kong Gatling, and Ryuma. I just got so lost in the rhythm of it all. All right. Well, we've only uh, we've gotten a little into it, and we still haven't seen any fancy cards. So I'm kind of hoping they're near the bottom. It's always more exciting to end a video on stuff like that. But for now, another Sengoku, Kalamatsu, another Reiju, Ratchet, Kingdom of Germa, Jigoro of the Wind, Cosette, Sai, Kuzan, the leader Uta card. And for our rares, we get Absalom and Douglas Bullet. Following that up, we have El Drago, Raizo, Inazuma, Vinsmoke Ichiji, Hamand, Baron Omatsuri, Shark Arrows, Shiki, the Billion Fold World, the Yamato Leader, and for our rares, we have Suru. And Vinsmoke Niji. Yeah, the entirety of purple is uh, taken up by the Vinsmoke family. There's really not any... Um, aside from a couple film cards that got added to go with Uta, it's pretty much just Vinsmoke. But then again, green has, you know, Fishman, like Wadatsumi here. Then we have Monkey D. Garp, Isa, El Drago, Genbo, Vinsmoke Yonji, Saul, we then have Vinsmoke Sora, Amano Murakumo Sword, this, this card's actually pretty strong, uh, Hyozoro, or Hyozo, sorry, and for our rare Charlotte Pudding, ooh, and Shanks, the captain of the red-haired pirates, 
10 cost to play, 12,000 power, with an on play that's pretty simple and to the point. KO one of your opponent's characters with 10,000 or less power. Yeah, just drop them on the board, knock out your opponent's 10 drop. Combine this with the Uta leader ability that lowers something by 2,000, and Shanks can actually take out, currently, any card in the game. There is nothing, uh, I mean, unless your opponent does something that increases the power of a character throughout the entire, um, you know, throughout your turn. Uh, but I don't think there's a ton of cards that can do that yet. Regardless, that Shanks actually has the potential to beat out anything on the board, including itself. So that's pretty balanced. Anyways, next we got Raise You again, followed by Sengoku. Then we have Brom, Monkey D Garp, another Gembo, Ratchet, Meteor Strike of Love, Shiki, Hacha, White Snake, and for our rares, another Douglas Bullet and Brook. I really like the Brook because, uh, fun fact, it says trash up to one of your opponent's characters with a cost of four or less. Not KO, not, not bounce back to the hand. This Brook allows you to just get rid of it. So if your opponent has a powerful on KO, you can actually get around it with that. Next up, we have the Lily Carnation, Taralan, Kamakiri, Sengoku, Lola, Baron Omatsuri, Zio, Women's Tears, Vinsmoke Sora, Nekomamushi, and for our rares, Vander Deck in the Ninth, and another Brook. Oh, that's funny, actually, one right after the other. Make no bones about it. This guy is a real uh, rib tickling card. Anyone? No? Maybe the, the new microphone's not working? Okay, well anyways, here's Schneider. Followed by another Niji. Then we got Cerberus. Thriller Bark. Ooh, Arc Maxim. Two, uh, two stages in one go. Followed by Rocky. Shadows Asgard. Daruma. Another Hody Jones leader. Black Bug as our rare. Oh, I spoiled it by bumping into it. But we got Reject, and we got another Dawn. So, I mean, I know we know that we always get two in each box now, which, in my opinion, is the nicest thing they could have done for us, because it was kind of hard to get a full play set of the first two sets. But I believe it was uh, starting from set four onward, we were able to get our hands on a whole bunch of boosters or not boosters um bunch of dawn cards i still haven't seen any uh special cards though we got a new pay here and tokikake we got lily carnation dosen shark arrows arc maxim hammond ivankov wiper then we got kuzan and for our rares, you ain't worth killing time. Oh, and there we go. That's a major hit. This is the secret rare, Roanoa Zoro. Nine cost to play, 9,000 power, uh, with two very strong abilities. When attacking, once per turn, rest a dawn, set this character as active. Mind you, he'll be rested. And then you activate the ability when attacking, restand him. If your opponent has something in their you know, in their thing, like, uh, let's say Punk Gibson in their life, that will rest your Zoro. So it is kind of a risk to do that. My recommendation would be to rest him, uh, you know, with an attack, then use his second ability, activate main, pay to dawn, set this character as active. Then swing a second time, use his ability to stand him, because that way, if you, you know, get hit by a Punk Gibson right off the bat, you'll survive it. I'm trying to help maximize the amount of swings. I guess mathematically at the end of it, it probably doesn't matter. But anyways, what I'm trying to get at is for only three Dawn, you can swing three times at 9,000 power. And if you really need to get through, you can swing three times at 16 by placing your remaining seven Dawn on Zoro. Well, El Drago's not as cool as Zoro, but uh, we have that card. 
and Hitetsu, as well as Schneider, Teralan, Baron Omatsuri, Ra Rocky, Saul, Noah, Hito Kiri Kamazo, Blue Dragon Seal Water Stream, try saying that four times fast, and for our rares, Kikunojo and Vinsmoke Niji. We are more than halfway through the box now, I will say. Um, I believe this is the last booster of the second third of our box. So far, we've seen the Secret Rare, which is very nice. And maybe we'll get ourselves uh, Alt Art along the way. Perhaps Peronas, I'm kind of hoping for. Regardless, we have Kawamatsu, Gyro, Brom, Dosen, Cosette, the Ark Noah, Ratchet, Ors, Raise Max, Gion, and for our rares we have Vinsmoke Ichiji and Hody Jones, captain of the new Fishman Pirates, not to be confused with the old Fishman Pirates. Hody Jones is a 7 cost to play, 8,000 power, with Rush of all things in green. His on play rests up to a total of two of your opponent's characters or Dawn cards. Then, add one card from the top of your life cards to your hand. So, yeah, that's kind of the whole theme of Hody's crew in this game, is losing life in order to gain powerful abilities that basically go well over the cost of the character involved. Because resting two of anything, because you're resting Dawn, you're resting characters, even two 10-drop blockers cannot stop Hody from attacking you. And that's... Pretty dang strong. It's, I can see why it costs a life. Anyways, we got Ichiji, Carnation, Toki, Nothing at All, Zeph, Kingdom of Germa, Shark Arrows, Germa Double Six, Ikuro Spuch, another Yamato leader, and for our rares we get Dr. Hogback and Monkey D. Luffy. And in this pack we have Monkey D. Garp, Inupe, Inazuma, Kingdom of Germa, Zeph, Vinsmoke Yonji, Zio, Kumasi, Nekomamushi, Guild Tesoro, and for our rares, another Charlotte Pudding, and Kozuki Momonosuke. Oh, look, we got Hiori, and now we got her brother. Uh, five cost to play, 6,000 power with Blocker. His on play ability lets us add one of our Land of Wano type characters, other than Momonosuke, to the top or bottom of the owner's life face up. So you can you can gain a life by dropping down Momonosuke. Uh, I would recommend swinging with whatever it is you're going to be putting in your life first, but Momo's a great way to protect yourself. And you could, you know, manipulate your life stack by throwing things into your life with Hiori and then having them play out when you get hit and then Momonosuke puts it right back and granted your opponent will now see it coming but hey that's you know part of the fun. Our next pack of cards includes Gaspard, Kamakiri, Wadatsumi, Kawamatsu, Meteor Strike of Love, nothing at all. We're getting a lot of nothing in these packs. We got Saul, Hiozo, Victoria Sindri, I think that's actually the first one I've pulled of her. Raise Max, and for our rares, a Yonji and another King Kong Gatling. Down to the final five. Gonna see if anything exciting pops up. We still haven't seen an alt art, so typically a box has at least one. Let's uh, let's hope maybe it's in this pack with uh, Dosen guarding it. Followed by Niji, then Kyoshiro. Shark Arrows, Rocky, Jigoro of the Wind, Women's Tears, Wiper, Shadows Asgod, Borsalino, and for our rares, the one who should disappear, and another Reiju. I, I don't know how I feel about it when the packs do that, you know, when the boxes have two of the same uh, SRs in there, because... Personally, I'm a collector. My goal is to get at least one of each card, and getting a duplicate of something that's really hard to get a hold of is hard. Uh, it's hard on a collector. On the other hand, though, it's easier as a player, which I am a collector first and a player second, so that's kind of where I stand on it. Then we have Ichiji, Cerberus, 
Isa, Meteor Strike of Love, Thriller Bark, and The Ark Noah. We got a lot of stages in this set. Hammond, Kamazo, Daruma, Kumasi, and for our rares, Absalom and Perona. Yay! I plan on playing Perona this set, so I do need to get a full play set of her. Uh, she is a 4 cost to play, 5,000 power with 2,000 counter. Very nice. Her on play, if your opponent has 5 or more cards in their hand, I get to choose one of these. Your opponent trashes a card from their hand. That's typically what you would want to use the most, in my opinion. The other ability is give one of your opponent's characters minus 3 cost during this turn. It's a very strong card. I, it's... Not as strong as the Gecko Moria, which I still, even in my pre-release packs, have not seen any. So, who knows? Maybe I'll get lucky and I'll pull uh, Gecko Moria right now. Alright, we are down to our last three packs. So, starting with the Bronze Medal, we have Count Battler, the official mascot of this set, apparently. Uh, Kiyoshiro, Inupe, Schneider, Lola, oh, Women's Tears, Hammond. Hammond, yep. Denjiro, Bear King, another Uta leader. And for our rares, Killin' Time and Yonji. We we're just killing time with Yonji there. Okay, well, I'm getting a little nervous. Is this, uh, am I gonna get a, uh, come on, let me get a, let me get an alt art, please. Got our silver medal pack here with Terra Lan, Kawamatsu, Gaspard. Rizo, the Meteor Strike of Love, Arc Maxim, Jigoro of the Wind, and Sai, ha Sai, Sakazuki, Inorashi, and for our rares, Tot Musica. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, a little bit of context here. Um, there is a type of card called the Treasure Rare. It is a rarity exclusive to the states right now. Uh, the one they chose to do it with was Nami. One cost to play, 1,000 power, 1,000 counter. This is the Nami from the starter deck. And, I mean, it allows you to move Arrested Dawn once per turn from to, uh, to one of your leader or characters. This is... This is great! This is... <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Um, Did not expect to see this today. Uh, I don't know which is rarer, the treasure rare or the manga rare. I would guess the manga rare because they're like the exclusive one for every set. But this is really cool to have. Um, first of its kind. I'm sure we'll get treasure rares in every set from here on out. But yeah, this is cool. And I obviously they chose Nami to do this first. So hey, let me know in the comments which... Oh, look, you can see uh, Nami's name right up there. That's pretty cool. Anyways, let me know in the comments what you think of the art, because it's the first time we've gotten something that isn't anime. It's more realistic, more comic book-esque in the card game. Well, how about that? I, I don't even know if I can call this next booster pack the gold medal. This is the final pack. Uh, good for good for that, though. Hip, hip, hooray. <laughs> ah, well, at least we got a dog in this pack. We got Cerberus, uh, Hitetsu, Inazuma. Wow, I am in a perked mood right now. Look at me go. Uh, Watatsumi, Women's Tears. I'm not, I don't have any tears. Cosette. We got Kingdom of Germa, Shadows Asgard, Victoria Sindri, Saga, and for our rares. Oh, we have another Nami in this pack. We have Onami and we have Tashigi. So with that, we finish this off with, let me take a look. Let me just rearrange my cards. We end this pack with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven super rares, one secret rare in Roanoa Zoro, and one treasure rare with Nami. I, I mean, I couldn't ask for a better box. This was really, really cool. So let me know in the comments below if you saw a character you like or if I didn't pull a character you were hoping for. As far as competitively speaking, I kind of wish I had pulled a Gecko Moria instead of a second Reju. As far as a collector goes, I will gladly trade that away because I pulled an Ami, and that's really cool. So, thank you for watching as always. I will see you in the next video. I don't think I'll be getting another box, although, hey, maybe I'll just sell the Nami and buy some boxes. <laughs> However it goes, thank you for watching as always, and I will see you in the next one. 
This is the hero of Julios, Xing out.